Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 1 Legendary Edition where we just met freaking Sovereign. Who's the puppet master? You just met the puppet master. Uh, yeah. That's all I needed to do in here. I forget too sometimes that like the reason we came here was like the Krogan breeding facility. But, and then we were like, oh hey, there's also an indoctrination facility in here. Please, 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 please. Oh my gosh, it didn't work. Rain the buns. Anyway, <laughs> Clear. that was terrifying. The gaff are turning from your position, JTO. Looks like Shadow picked a sensitive spot. Williams, head them off. Hold them. Now, where? Oh, probably down. Oh, no, yeah, okay, there we go. This is where, yeah, this is where we came in, and now it's like, haha, you can't go that way. And I didn't even realize that these are free. What a good idea, what a good design idea. <laughs> you can just, like, have an actual good reason. Shields disabled. For, um, come on. Closing off certain paths. Just make them, some of them bridges. Regeneration's redonkulous. Oh my gosh, did you see that? Oh my gosh, it's natural health regen. It's ridiculous. aren't rushing me, which is weird. I do think it's funny when they run and their momentum just like takes them. Oh god, I'll come back. Oh, okay. We got. All clear. Oh no. Oh, jeez. I think you have more control over running. Now. Oh, let me check and see. Okay, good. I was like, if the game audio isn't working on the recording, I'm gonna cry. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> what a beautiful planet. Home to such horrible things. Oh, okay. Yeah, that one. Oh, 
are you? Good thing my companions apparently can. Where are you going? Okay, I was trying to, I was hoping his momentum would take it over the other edge, but... Oh my gosh, stand up and then you push you off the edge. Oh no, this is not gonna work. Okay. I was like, he's too- oh jeez. Hitting this stupid thing. I'm gonna scream. I can't freaking hit it because of the stupid pole, and sometimes the pole protects me, and sometimes it does. I'm gonna scream. I thought I saved. <laughs> I'm never playing on insanity again. I'm playing Mass Effect 2 on freaking hard. I'm never doing insanity again. Oh jeez. <laughs> That's interesting. It's an interesting glitch. We managed to push the Krogan off early. And then use that corner to our advantage for the gas drone thing. <laughs> I am too- oh no! I got- I'm so good! Good work on the gun, Shadow Team. Now it's our turn. I remember that I have grenades. Chucked a grenade in the elevator. I do love getting environmental kills. It's a, not a small pleasure. <laughs> hey boys, how's it cracking? Oh, my shoulder's cracking. That's what's cracking. Ow! <laughs> I bet Shepard's shoulders don't crack. They probably actually do. She has to do a lot more than I do. <laughs> She's in better shape for sure, but That's she also it. has to we do some crazy things. This ability and singularity. 
are so OP because throw like temporarily makes it so they don't have like agency, right? But something like throw or like lift and singularity that freaking lets you control. Well, they they can't, I don't even think, I don't think they can activate any abilities while they're Charge in there. Set. Everyone bunker down. Bunker down. Oh man, charges are set. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This is gonna be a. This is gonna be a lot. All right. Nice work. That's one less thing to worry about. Commander, I'm bringing us in. I'll get as close to the site as I can. Come on, Joker. We don't have all day. That's an unpleasant noise. There's my baby. Oh, hang on. Oh boy. <laughs> How do I? Oop. Dang it, it's not gonna like let me get like a super epic photo. I caught it right before the cutscene though. He's like, come on, go. He's like motioning them out with a freaking bomb. Like, here, let me lead you. Let me t let me point you. Let me freaking airplane guide you through. Bomb is in position. We're all set here. Commander, can you read me? Oh, uh, he's yelling at me. I don't know if he's yelling at me or I, I mean, I don't know. But I'm like, my back is very dramatically to him. The nuke is almost ready. Get to the rendezvous point, Williams. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Get them out of there, Joker, now! Negative! It's too hot! Can't risk it! We'll hold them off as long as we- It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the bomb. Go get them and meet me back here. Okay. Up to the AA tower. Move. I think I'm supposed to actually be facing him. I think that's what it is. <laughs> um, obviously take Rex and let's bring Liara. I think that gl it glitched out a bit. Well, she's a bug. She could sense things. Do I have? I think I have her using the assault rifle. Do we have a better problem? Well, sure. Oh my gosh! Do I not? I don't have any better armor. Well, well then. <laughs> Electronics, sure. Lovely. Okay, here we go. We have to try to help our friends, our companions. Do I go? Is it over there? Let me out. Oh, okay, over here maybe. Caden, don't don't do anything rash. Nope, not that one. There we go. There we go. Once the jamming signal comes up, I know I'm in the right spot. Oh my gosh. Oh jeez, oh please. 
no. Oh. I need to switch. I think he's glitched into the wall. That's really unfortunate. But really nice for me. A Krogan Warlord. Oh, jeez. Dead? Okay. Oh, jeez. They just like insta get like a bunch of their health back. Oh my gosh, I'm firing so much that I can't. Rex is like, I needed a nap. I needed a nap. I don't blame him. I also would like a nap, but I feel like it would waste my day too, you know? <laughs> We're all just a bunch of bugs. I probably should have brought somebody with tech abilities. Oh no, it's already here. It's already here, no. Oh, predator armor isn't bad. Oh, every time this makes my stomach hurt. Don't make me make this choice. <laughs> Come on, this is the, oh my gosh, has my game glitched out? Oh no, okay, here we go. Okay. Can you hold them off? There's too many. I don't think we can survive until you get here. I'm activating the bomb. Alenka, what are you doing? I'm just making sure this bomb goes off. No matter what. It's done, Commander. Go get Williams and get the hell out of here. Screw that. We can handle ourselves. Go back and get Alenko. And this is me ultimate decision that you have to make the one one of the ones that made this game pretty famous is that you have to choose you actually had to choose between two of your companions and one will die and i've always let ashley die without much regret but the more i play the more i get sad especially i don't know the older i get and the more i see her with her family i'm like Whoa. and also it's really weird because I am in love with Caden. Shepard's in love with Caden, right? And so it's like, does she rescue him um, and leave Ashley to die and let it, like everybody thinking in the back of their minds that I saved him because I loved him, which it would, would be a factor. Should I save Ashley and let Caden die so that people wouldn't think that, you know? So that I could prove to myself and to others that I wasn't letting my like emotions cloud my judgment. But the other thing is, is when you set it up in the beginning, you can kind of set it up for yourself because protecting the bomb is your best bet right like in general like you want to protect the bomb and so you want to go back and save it so generally if i'm going to save somebody which i've only saved ashley once i will send her with the bomb whoever i'm going to save i will send with the bomb in general um i think once i've actually gone out and saved somebody it was, it was probably caden that i had sent out with the squad uh just to try it um but it makes the most sense to me in my limited military tactical, you know, what I think you would do is to protect the bomb and not necessarily go out and save a squad that was sort of from the get-go potentially not going to survive, you know? 
Um, but it lets you make the choice here. Like, you might think, oh, I've thrown Ashley to the wolves, you send her out, and then, like, you regret it, but then the game here is essentially like, you know, hey, you can choose. You can go out and save the person that you sent out, or you can save the person who's, like, arming the bomb, because the bomb will go off regardless of what the Geth do, but it really does make sense to go and protect it. Um, so I kind of cheat and make it so that, um, Caden is the one that I have to rescue in order to protect the bomb, you know, so, but it's still, like, I, I always, like, I sort of, like, love and hate the, like, sort of guilty feeling that I think Shepard would have for the rest of her life, too, because there's that, too, right, like, even if you love Caden or whatever and you stick with him for the next, like, three games or whatever, um, maybe in the back of your head you'll always be, like, did I save him because I loved him or because of the bomb or knowing I saved him because I loved him and let another squad mate and friend die because of that at least partially because of that I wouldn't say it's a hundred percent because of that by any means you know uh, but it is a factor and one you have to take account for so anyway this is the run through where I save Caden even if it does make me sad to lose Ashley honestly Alenko. Radio Joker and tell him to meet us at the bomb site. Yes, Commander. I... I... You know it's the right choice, LT. I am sorry. I'm... I'm sorry, Ash. I had to make a choice. I understand, Commander. I don't regret a thing. To be in that position, could you imagine? And I love it, like, Commander, like, Shepard, like, holds the railing, like, she's trying to decide she can't save them both. And as a commander, as a leader, you sometimes have to make those incredibly difficult decisions. And not just make them, but live with the consequences, you know? And she's sitting there, and she has a moment where it's like, oh, she could be running to save one or the other. But, like, she has to decide between two friends, between two of her people that she's in charge of and that she's in command of and is supposed to protect, you know? And you have to make that choice and like how do you make it's impossible to make that choice like truly you know like uh, no matter what you're gonna there's gonna be regrets and there's gonna be sadness and there, you know there's gonna be just i don't know it's really difficult and when it first happened to me i was like what like i, I was just i thought it was cool at, for one like not cool but like Bold? I thought it was bold. I hadn't played another game that actually wouldn't let you, like, you know, save your companions, kind of. Oh, I'm trying to go. Ooh. Focus. I can't fire my gun. This is so annoying. Just doing a flyby. Okay, good. <gasps> oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. No! <laughs> it's okay, I can't save anyone. Ashley or Caden or myself. And just to, like, hear Ashley's words, you know, she's like, and, like, to think of, like, to me, it's like, she's like, it's okay, I under, Commander, I understand. Like, to me, there's that extra depth of feeling that, like, she's like, I know, I know you care for him. Are they gone? I know you care for him. Like, I knew that this was going to be your choice, at least in part, for those reasons. Is my game good, you know? Like, unless you play your shepherd, where it's like, 100%, I save my love interest because I love them. That's fine. But I've never, like, there's always just, like, there's there's so many factors that go into it. I think my game's bugged. Like, I say that, and then usually it's user error. But this one... Might actually be a bug. <gasps> Wait... Oh, did it save pre-choice? Oh my gosh. I think that's what it did. I thought I saved before I walked in, though. Oh, let's go see. Well, I will go see.
let this be a lesson to you kids. It's never a glitch. 95% of the time, it's usually just user error. <laughs> Yay. Okay, so I'm back to this moment. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to call this one here, actually. Um, <laughs> turns out, yes. So I did save it just now. Um, right before I opened the doors, but I'm gonna have to call this one here because things got a little long, I think, but that's okay. Um, anyway, this next fight is gonna be a long one, so <laughs> I need to stop now. So thank you all so much for joining me, I appreciate it, and I wanna give a special shout out now. Oh no, wait, this is the part of the video <laughs> where I say thank you to my patrons. I wanna say thank you to all of my patrons, especially my sapling tier patrons, Scalamunger, thank you so much, and Rescalito, thank you so much. You both get individual shout outs, for your patron tier, and I super appreciate it a lot. It's helping me buy groceries in freaking California, because California is expensive. <laughs> so, and I want to give an extra special shout out to Christopher, who is a tree tier patron, and who supports and and is gives shade to all of us under his purview. Anyway, that's my tree metaphor for the day. So, <laughs> thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it, and I hope to see you in the next one.